हेलो एवरी वन गुड इवनिंग वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सिविल जस्ट टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ टॉपिक ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग रिलेटेड टू द बिल्डिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन विच इज अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द डैम इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट वट इज द डैम एंड वट आर द बेसिक टाइप्स ऑफ द डैम एंड वट आर द बेसिस ऑन विच द डैम्स आर क्लासीफाइड हेयर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द डैम सो लेट स्टार्ट गाइज here you can see that following are the parts or components of the dam here i have written different parts or components of the dam but first we have to identify we have to see the diagram here it is the diagram of the dam dam structure and here you can see all the parts are labeled by the red pointer so let us start first of all we have the portion of heel heel is portion of dam where it contacts upper upstream side of the dam so it is basically this point heel heel is the point heel is the point where the dam is connected with the upstream side or at the uh, ground so basically when the ground and the the point of interaction between the ground and the upstream side of the dam is known as the heel and oppositely portion of dam where it contacts downstream side of the dam at the ground is called as toe so basically what is toe toe is the point of interaction between the bottom or base of the downstream side of the dam and the ground so this is our toe and this is our heel heel of the dam and toe of the dam so these are two easy concepts next we will study about the crest crest the top most plane on the dam mostly used as roadways and walkways over the dam so basically this is our crest this is a crest this is a portion this is a top most part of the dam which is used as a road which is used as a road on the on the dam construction and here the vehicle goes and it is used as a you can you can you can, you can use it as a highway over with the vehicle travel so basically this crest is the upper most part of the dam and it is provided for the walkways or roadways and next if we see after the crest we we will study about the parapet walls these parapet walls walls along the length of the dam on either side of the crest to provide safety to the roadway so simply this is the concept that these these highlighted blue these dark blue are our parapet walls as i have labeled these are our parapet walls and their purpose is to provide the safety to the road to this road to this roadway or highway or crest so basically these are provided at the both ends of the crest these are the walls provided at both ends of the crest so this is the easy concept of parapet walls so this is the easy concept of the parapet walls an easy and simplified concept which you can understand next is the concept of spillway the opening provided in the structure of dam so that excessive water can flow from upper stream to the downstream side of the dam so basically this is this is our spillway as mentioned this is our spillway this is an opening provided from the upper stream side to the downstream side now you can understand one thing that this all this portion on the left side of the dam is referred as upstream side and this all portion at the downstream side at the tail is known as the downstream side of the dam so basically this is upper stream side and this is the downstream side first you have to understand this point next we have to understand the point the here the spillway is what the spillway is the spillway is the opening between the upstream side and downstream side which provides the passage to flow excessive water from the upstream to the downstream side and same it is written in the definition that there is the opening provided in the structure of the dam so that excessive water on the uh, excessive water can flow from upstream to downstream side so this is the concept of the spillway next we will talk about the sluice way and sluice way what is sluice way the opening provided near the base of the dam to clear the silt deposition in the reservoir now this is the concept that uh, there is the water present there is a silt present in the water of the stream or river so to avoid the accumulation or the deposition of the river we have provided an opening near the base of the dam which is known as sluice way which controls the accumulation of the dam by controlling the silt which con uh, controlling the silt and it uh, prevents from prevents the silt deposition of in the water so basically its purpose is the its purpose is to control the silt deposition in the water or silt accumulation in the stream or river water so all is it, it is written in the diagram 
and it is definition the opening provided near the base of the dam to clear the seal deposition in the reservoir that our reservoir should be free from our seal deposition next is our free board now after the sluice we guys you can see the definition of free board what is free board simply the definition is the distance between the maximum water level and the normal water level is called free board but here we can understand it from its diagram so let's see it here it is the diagram here you can see that here i mentioned maximum water level so this line is representing the maximum water level of the dam which can exist beneath at the upstream side and here is the normal water level which generally exists or which you can see the minimum water level so the distance or the difference between the maximum water level and the normal or minimum water level is known as free board so here is our free board and simply we can say that it is a difference between our maximum water level at which the the water level on the maximum water level on at the upper side stream of the dam and the normal water level or minimum and here it is a, its difference is called free board so it is a important definition in the components of the dam next we will talk about the gallery gallery you can see definition these are the tunnel shaped horizontal or vertical openings within the body of a dam to store the equipments and to monitor the performance of the structure so basically what is gallery let's come towards the diagram here you can see that blue uh, here it you can see that this object is our gallery this is our gallery and you can see that it is a tunnel shaped it is a it look like tunnel shape and what it is purpose its purpose is to store the equipment for the machinery its purpose is to store the any equipment which can be used on for any operation and second thing we have to operate the we have to monitor the performance of the dam we have to monitor the performance of the structure and maintenance of the structure for this purpose we use this gallery so simply if anybody asks you then you can explain that gallery are the tunnel shape horizontal or vertical openings in the structure of the dam which are used to store the equipment for the storage of the any equipment or to per monitor the performance of the entire structure so this is the concept of gallery guys last thing we have to study about the apartments the sloping side of the valley upon which the dam rests sloping side of the valley upon which the dam, dam rests so these are basically the sloping sides these are basically the sloping sides at the end of the dam of the valley upon which the whole dam will rest so basically this diagram cannot show it because it is a paper diagram and it can, and and the abutment will show can be shown by the 3d diagram of the dam so, but basically you can understand that the, that the end portion of the dam on the uh, and the, that the end portion of the valley upon which the whole entire dam rest is known as abutment so you can understand it from our 3d diagram that what is abutment so basically all these are the important and basic components of the structure of the dam and we have studied heel toe crest parapet wall spillway sluiceway freeboard gallery and abutment so here we have labeled all the components and here it is the diagram of the dam so hope you guys like this video and hope you guys understand the concept of the components of the dam if you like this video then subscribe my channel and hit the like button um, we will meet in next video